Hi, it's Sherry from A Quilting Life, and I'm here today with week 12 of our Home for the Holidays sampler sew along, and we are ready to finish our quilts. I've got my finished quilt and Chelsea's finished quilt to share with you, and just have a few uh, tips and pointers that I want to share with you about sewing along and putting your quilt all together. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, finishing day is always a lot of fun and as just as I did with the blocks, I just wanted to show you some of these pieces before they were actually set together in the quilt. You have all the information that you need on the finishing instruction PDF for piecing these together and you will need 17 of these units. These will go in between each block and then you will also need to make six nine patches and a lot of the pieces for the nine patches can be cut from the extras when you're sewing your strip sets together so you'll for example you'll be able to get all of the center light dark light pieces cut from just the ends of these so six nine patches is all that you'll need to make and then 17 of these strips and you are going to uh, use some of these strips to place in between your blocks, but then you're also going to make these sashing rows. And these are made with three strip sets and two blocks, and you'll be making three of these. And these will go in between the rows. And I just wanted to show, point out the pressing too. You're going to press to the dark. So for all of these strips, you'll be pressing toward that centerpiece. And the same thing with the nine patches. All the seams are pressed toward the dark. And that way when you go to sew these together, the seams will nest because they've already been pressed the way that they need to go. And I can just show you that. And the other thing that you can remember is that you're always going to press to the sashing pieces. So when you start sewing these to your blocks, you will press all the seams toward your sashing pieces. When you sew the nine patches to the sashing pieces, you also press all of your seams to the sashing pieces. And that will make it so that when we sew these sashing rows to our block rows, that all the seams will also nest. So this is just a, one of my favorite ways to set a quilt, and it's really great for beginners as well because it keeps all of your parts and pieces kind of in check. Okay, so let's talk about the finishing. You will be making sashing strips that are 18 and a half inches by 18 and a half inches with a light dark and a light fabric. And it's really funny because Chelsea and I both chose the gray daisy print from our Emma collection for our sashing. Just a little hint when you're sewing this, when you sew the first two strip sets together, press to the dark before you add that third strip. A lot of people wait and sew all three strips together before pressing, and it is just really so much easier if you press the seam between the first two strips before you add the, the final strip. And so all of the sashing will be made up of the light, dark, light. You will be making a little bit of dark, light, dark that you'll be using for the nine patches, and also save all your extras because you can use those for the nine, the light, dark, light sections of the nine patch units. So you'll be making the strip sets as shown on the finishing pattern and the nine patches to put it all together. And we actually also added an inner border. I'm just gonna move mine up to kind of show you that right here. So there is a, just a solid inner border and then you will also be adding an outer border. And for my quilt, I used the large floral, and then I just thought it would be super fun to use the, the blue stripe for my binding. And I used the, the blue floral print for my backing fabric. So just a combination. I'm gonna go ahead and show you Chelsea's choices right now. 
and she also did just a plain uh, white inner border she used the stripe for her outer border which is just a really fun look for a christmas quilt and then she did the green dots from our emma collection for her binding and then for her back she used the daisies so it's so fun we didn't even talk about this either but she went green on green for her back and binding and i went and did the blue on blue for mine so it's always just it's just kind of fun to see the choices that we both made for our quilts because we really didn't talk about what fabrics we were using while we were sewing along. So I hope you have fun making all of these final choices for your sampler quilt and that you've enjoyed sewing along with us these past few months. Okay, and that is a wrap on this sew along. I Really have enjoyed seeing all of your blocks on social media and hope that you've enjoyed making our Home for the Holidays sampler quilt. We will uh, have the link to the PDF. It's actually on my blog today for the finishing instructions that you can get. And if you're just finding us and you want to start, you can go ahead and get the book. We have links for you to purchase it on Amazon or from my Etsy shop and then you can still go back and get all of those PDFs that we've been doing throughout this series. And we will be doing some other fun sew-alongs next year. Probably the next one that I'll be starting is my Happy Go Lucky quilt. Maybe we can pop up a picture of that really quick right here. And I'll be doing a sew-along for that when the Simply Delightful fabrics ship, which should be sometime in February 2023. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button, share it with a friend, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for stopping by.